Okay, we're back. Um, now we're going to work on this tulip. And I've got this sideways so that I can um, reach it and not be in a glare. So um, let's start off with our extender. And for this tulip, we're going to be using naphthol red and we're going to be using our gray value 9. So I'm going to take our gray value 9 and I'm going to put it a little bit of it over here in my uh, palette. Put it right next to the titanium white so that I can just, you know, take paint from one from one source. And we're, oh, and we're also going to be using some of the the background. And uh, let's see, let's take a little bit of the cool and the warm. I'm going to take that over to my palette and mix it together. And then I'm just going to put a little bit of that right here in my wet palette also. Okay. So now I think we should have most every color that we need to right in this one small palette. And it just helps to streamline things. Okay. And now I'm going to set that to the side. And our instructions tell us to use naphthol red for the striations. And I'm going to just use a very thin liner for this. And also, I think I'll use uh, a lunar blender for parts of it also. And uh, of course, the mop. And I may use um, my my rake grainer is what this one's called but it's a rake okay so let's make sure we're wet enough without swimming and let's start with the uh, red striations so I'm going to put a little bit of the naphthol red on my blender and work it in and I'm going to start with this edge here because that's where the most red is. Okay. And uh, I'm going to use this grainer, kind of spread it out a little bit and get it to move, It'll be a little spiky. And Let's go with uh, let's go with the small round now. Put in the naphthol red, and let's just follow our picture. We've got a little bit here, and some here. Just a couple of different places. Okay. Now I'm going to take my very tiny mini mop and soften those down. Okay. Uh, let's see. We've got a line here, a little bit this way. Well, I'm going to take this one line right back off because I've got it going straight and it needs to to, to curve. So I'm going to. curve that line. Ok. 
Okay, maybe curved it a little too much. <laughs> okay. And then we have some up here. In the shadow areas. Okay, let's um, smooth this in. Now, let's go a little bit, let's go to this uh, back pedal. And we have just a little bit up here in this back pedal. And a couple of spots on this pedal. Okay. Now, um, let's move to the background color. We're going to shade the sides and the bottom of the tulip where it joins the stem. So I'm going to get out my filbert. I'm going to dress my brush and extender. Then I'm going to side load into this background color. Blend it out on the palette. And I'm going to come in here and shade And I'm going to use my small mop to soften. Let's um, deepen the shadow in here. Deepen our shadows. Now, as you can see, our dead layer is still working for us in this um, instance. a little more shade color there. Okay. 